Hello, I'm Greg Reynolds, the music director and organist of the church. And a few weeks ago, we started staff devotionals. And um, my original devotional was about how we worship the creator and not the created. And this morning, we'll be using the organ to demonstrate the different sounds and how it's used in worship. Again, we're not worshiping the organ, but we are using this instrument to give praise and honor and glory to God. The hymn that I would like to use this morning is um, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. It's one of my favorites, and I know it's um, a favorite of many people. I would like to use these words to demonstrate God's great love to us and at the same time demonstrate the basic sounds of the pipe organ and how they can enhance worship. Since we're still in this separate time and place, I thought this would give us a good opportunity for you to get a closer view into my personal space at the organ console and you'll be able to see much clearer and much more close up than normal if you were here at church. So the organ is um, divided into divisions. If you can see, they're all labeled. And each stop on the organ is labeled. Everything is labeled, has a name, and explains a little bit of, about its use. The basic sound of the pipe organ is called the principal sound. And this is the sound that you would hear on Sunday morning when we are singing hymns. It is the foundation for the pipe organ sound. There are principal stops on each division of the organ. And now I'm going to play the first verse of Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. This verse praises God for what he has already done. It also uses many musical ideas. And I think that's one of the reasons this is one of my favorite hymns. Listen to the words. Come, thou fount of every blessing, Tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet sung by flaming tongues above. Praise his name, I'm fixed upon it. Name of God's redeeming love. As I play, listen for the principal sounds of the organ. You just heard the principal sound of the pipe organ. The end of that verse, you also heard a new sound. That is the reed, and it is a family of sounds on the, on the pipe organ. The reed that you heard was called a tuba. Now, reeds are normally made 
by the vibration of two pieces of metal or two pieces of wood rubbing together, uh, like an oboe. There are oboe stops on this organ, the tuba. Also there's reeds of clarinet and trumpet and the reed that you will hear in the next variation, the English horn. And there are reeds on every division of the pipe organ. On this organ, all of the reed stops are written in red ink. So I'm going to use verse two of the hymn, Come Thou Fount, to demonstrate, first of all, some reed sounds. Verse two, the words recognize what God is doing presently. Words in this verse are more personal. You'll hear I and me several times. Listen to the words. Hitherto thy love has blessed me. Thou hast brought me to this place. And I know thy hand will bring me safely home by thy good grace. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God. He, to rescue me from danger, brought me with his precious blood. Again, listen for this English horn read on the organ. Another basic sound on the organ is the flute sound. And you know the musical instrument, the flute. This sound on the organ is used in many different ways. And there are different kinds of flutes on this organ. Again, there are flutes in every division, on every manual, and for this next piece, you will hear two different flutes playing back and forth, kind of like a dialogue. They're talking to each other. I like this set of variations because these three variations here in the middle are all softer and you can hear the individual stops so again, listen for these two flute stops.
So those were some of the flute sounds on this organ. The next sound that you will hear is called the string family of sound. And these are much softer stops, very similar to stringed instruments, the violin, the viola, the cello. They're smooth and warm, and they just make you feel like you are receiving a hug, kind of. So I hope you were able to hear the four basic sounds of the organ. The principal sound, the flute sound, the reed sound, and finally the string sound. Now one of the things that I like the most about the organ is that you can combine all of these sounds into virtually um, any number of combinations. So our last verse of Come Thou Fount, we're going to hear all of these sounds played together in combination. This is similar to how an orchestra sounds when the whole orchestra plays together instead of individual instruments. You get to hear the entire sound. Or let's put it a different way. This is similar when we come to worship on Sunday morning and each person lifts up their voice to God and it combines into a glorious sound. Verse 3 of Come Thou Fount looks forward to what God is going to do in the future. We can be secure in God's grace even though we are prone to wonder. We have given Him our heart and he will seal it for his courts above when we praise him together in all of eternity in heaven. Listen to the words. O oh, to grace, how great a debtor daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness like a feather bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, O oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Now listen as we combine all of these four sounds together to make a sound glorious as we look forward to that time in heaven when we praise God. <laughs> 